for me, um, you know, empowerment comes from giving real life challenges to our athletes. And we really, honestly, we really want them to fail. Um, your greatest growth comes from their failures. So we want to make sure that we're challenging them. We want to make sure that they're, we're pushing them beyond where their, their um, I guess their level has been. And in doing so, the only way to empower somebody is not just to keep beating them up, but is to give them the tricks or the tools or the mental capacity to then overcome that same situation again when it comes at them. So we talk um, daily about it's not necessarily failure um, when you fall short, right? It's only failure if you fail to learn something from it and advance forward from it. So creating adversity as uh, on the athletic field is really what we do, but it translates to life, right? Because um, we need our athletes to be resilient, to learn quickly and to then adapt to be more successful. And if I can do that effectively, um, then that, that's where the empowerment just starts to just really lighten up. And um, you can really start seeing it in an athlete in their confidence, but also just their engagement and their excitement to be motivated out on the field every day is not that it's gonna be easy and not that I'm always gonna be perfect, but that I'm always gonna be moving forward and gaining from whatever happens. That's really that's a really fascinating approach to it. And it's you know building them up by giving them opportunities to fail. Could you be even more specific as to an example of what failure might look like for one of your players? Yeah, well, like even, uh, you know, for example, today in, in our, we had uh, batting practice today and, and we could have very easily, I throw batting practice, I could have very easily thrown fastballs at them down the middle and they would have probably hit, you know, 50, 60 home runs in, in you know, 45 minutes of batting practice. But that doesn't do anything other than just prove that I'm good and I can hit a ball out, right? So in turn, I'm on the field and I'm competing with them. I'm throwing drops and curves and trains and rise up, rise balls. And I'm actually really challenging to try and get those hitters out. And when I do, um, I don't make them feel bad, but I'm hoping that if I got you out on this pitch last time, that boy, when you step into the box next time, you're prepared for it and you're going to make an adjustment. So we want them, like I said, to have adversity in our training, but always with the understanding that there's some way to move forward or there's a, a standard that we can get to. The one thing that, uh, that I'll say also, empowerment really, you have to have a goal. You have to have a standard that you're trying to attain. And in, in sports, it's perfection, right? And the pursuit of perfection is really fantastic. It's, it's only if you feel like failing or not being perfect is, um, is, is gonna be a problem that it really holds you back. But I'm always striving to do it the best I can. And um, so keeping standards high and then challenging them with adversity um, yeah. and then giving them tools.